Joplin Notes Tutorial, how to use Joplin. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. Joplin is a fantastic platform, whereas you can use to jot down notes of any size, and you can also add images, you can add videos, and you can add links, so you can have all of your organization all in one area. It's easy to use, and you can have it on any device, be that a tablet, a Mac, a laptop, computer, or a mobile device, say, or Android, or your iPhone, you can have it on all of those devices, and you can actually sync your account on all of those devices. So what you can do is have notes taken on one device, and then it'll show up on another device. So let's jump straight into it. If you type in joplinapp.org, as you can see right over here at the top of the screen, Joplin app dot org is the website that you will go to and this is the page that you will see now the first thing you want to do is scroll down onto the page and you will see the download the app button now once you've tapped that it'll download the app and the size will vary depending on what system you're using however for this desktop that i'm using here it is actually 196 meg so it's really not a lot if you scroll down this page a little bit you can see that they give you an overview of how to use it and they give you a bunch of information on what it can actually do. So as you scroll down, you will get to a part of the page where it says save web pages as notes. So right over here, it is the web clipper. Now, once you tap on the web clipper, it'll give you instructions as to how to enable the web clipper. Now, the web clipper basically is a, a browser extension, whereas you can just screenshot or clip pages from the internet or pages from your device and actually just import them directly to your Joplin account. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and I'm going to show you what the app looks like. Now I've already downloaded the app. It took a few minutes to download and this is what the interface looks like. Up on the top of the page you will have your toolbar. So you have file, edit, view, go, notebook, note, tools and your help tab. Now the first thing we're going to have a look at is file. Right here you can create a new note, a new to-do list, a new notebook and a sub notebook. You can also import notes straight from any one of these formats over here and then you can export all of your notes that are on Joplin in any one of these formats. You can also synchronize a bunch of your devices. So if you have more than one device, let's say you have an office desktop, you have your mobile device and you maybe have a desktop in your home, you can sync all three of those devices with one easy click. And then you can just straight out print your note right over here. And then when we're going to edit, you can see here that this is literally the editing of the actual text itself. And then the view tab it gives you a bunch of different options over here. You can just change the layout. So one of the nice things I actually found was it was quite interactive. The first thing is the change application layout. And it's the first thing under the view tab. And once you go in there, it basically gives you this option where you can just move these tabs around and you can place them wherever you want. So let's say you want this one on the right hand side and you can just tap the arrow. If you tap the arrow again, it'll swap them around. You tap the left arrow, it'll swap that around and so forth. So you can go ahead and play around with these layouts the way that you'd like. And once you're happy with what you can actually see here, you can just, as it says at the bottom, you can press escape and then you will just exit. So let us push escape. Now you can see that our layout has completely changed. Now let's say that we want to take it back to its original layout. We can just go straight back to view and we can say reset application layout. And that is the second option under the view toolbar and you can then just tap OK and it'll throw it back exactly the way that it was as a default. Then going into a couple of the other options, your notebooks, you can now share your notebook and here you can toggle your external editing, you can manage your tags and you can actually publish your notes and you can view all these statistics and the analytics on your actual note. You also have some tools over here and this is actually where you can access the clipper. So we're going to go on to the first option here, which is options. And we're going to open that up. And basically, it gives you a bunch of options on the left hand side. Now, these are your general options, which you can change right over here. And this will help you to use Joplin the way that you're comfortable with. And another thing is then the synchronization on the left hand side. You can also change your appearance right over here. There are a bunch of different options you can toggle on and off and you can change and then you can change your note options. You can also manage your plugins 
to mark down all of your synchronized or your applications that are integrated. You can view your note history right over here. You can encrypt your account. And then we get down to the web clipper and the keyboard shortcuts. Now, the keyboard shortcuts are interesting because once you learn all of these shortcuts, you can just tap away when you need to do all of these things. So once you start learning all of these shortcuts, it makes Joplin that much easier to actually use. We're going to go into the web clipper, which is the second from the bottom. And once you open that, you will see now that it says enable web clipper service right over here. So step one, it says this service allows your browser extension to communicate with Joplin. When enabling it, your firewall may ask you to give permission to Joplin to listen to a particular port. So this is fine. So what we can do is we can enable it. And then as you see the step to here it says install the extension and then you are going to just install it on whichever one of the browsers that you use and then if you would like to go into the advanced options you can see here that there's an authorization token you can copy that token and you can access it that way so i'm going to install this and then we can see how to use it and as you can see here you can just tap on add to chrome and this is in your chrome web store and in a few seconds it'll be added and as you can see here on the top of the screen on the right hand side, it says Joblin Web Clipper has been added to Chrome and we can just close that window. And now you can see once we close this, we go back to the website. If you go up to your extensions on the top right hand side and you click that, you can see that it is right over there. Now, once you click on it, it'll give you a few options. And as you can see now, it is active right over there. And it is now asking for the permission as it had mentioned earlier on so it says the joplin web clipper requires your authorization in order to access your data it also says please open the joplin desktop app and grant permission and over here it says note joplin 2.1 plus is needed to use this version of the web clipper so as it says here we're going to go into our desktop app and it gives you this notification and it says grant authorization or reject and we're going to say grant authorization and now we can integrate our web clipper with our desktop app and we can go straight out of the options over here we can just say quit and we are now back into our web page so as you can see here this extension offers us a few options you can see here it says clip simplified page complete page html selection clip screenshot or clip url and then you can also choose where you're going to save it and you can then just choose whichever notebook you're going to save it in you can also add tags right over here and once you're done at the top of the screen you can just close that extension and you can now grab web pages straight from websites and throw it straight into your joplin desktop app Jumping straight back into our desktop app, we can see here where we can actually add a new note or a new to-do list. And over here on the left-hand side, you can add a new notebook. Now, notebook is basically like a collection. So once you tap that, it'll give you the option to create a title. So we can call this notebook work. Or we can make it notebook personal we can name it a project so we can call it um, a project photography or you can name it whatever it is that you would like that is associated with the notes that you're going to be adding here then underneath that you can actually add an icon so you can select a file from your device or you can select an emoji so let us select an emoji so that we can actually define this particular notebook so i've now selected an emoji and we can just tap on ok and as you can see over here on the left hand side you will see all of your notebooks listed and the project photography with its little emoji as you can see is now right over here now if you want to add a note into that particular notebook you can just select it and then you can just tap on new note you can also tap on new to-do list once you've tapped on new note you will see over here that at the top over here it gives you an opportunity to give it a heading so let's call this note one and then we can put some information in over here now as you can see the view as you see here is what you can edit on the left hand side and that is this over here and then this is what it looks like on the right hand side you can also toggle your views if you have a look on the top right hand side there's a toggle editor view which is the second from the right hand side 
and you can just tap on that and as you can see here it changes the editing view so depending on what you prefer you can change that right over there and just like any other text app or text program you can see right over here there are a bunch of options so you can actually bold italic you can add hyperlinks you can add a file you can add an image or a video you can also do bullet points numbering check marks and a bunch of other things right over here just as you can do in microsoft word or google sheets then once you're done it does auto save so you don't have to actually physically save it what you can do now is you can tap on new to-do list and right at the top it gives you the option to give your to-do list a title so we're going to say this is list one right over here and over here we are going to put in our tasks so we can say task one and task two and so forth and as we go down you can now organize your to-do list and this is all saved in this project photography because we actually selected that as the folder to put it in once you're done again it auto saves everything you can also add tags so if you need to look for your stuff at a later stage you can just use your tags and right at the bottom of the page you can see there is a synchronize tab where you can just tap and basically what it'll do now is it will allow you to sync your joplin account which is this one right over here to a joplin cloud you can also sync it to your dropbox your onedrive account or you can have it synced to any one of the other devices you're using this account on there we go now you can take notes easily quickly on the go at work at home or anywhere else i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave us a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time cheers for now